Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. What would you sacrifice to get rid of that stomach? The question here is, what stomach? The outer stomach or the inner stomach? I'm gonna to touch on both. Now there is no such thing as spot reduction. And even though there are thousands of people out there trying to sell you their gimmicks by doing certain exercises and targeting your stomach area that you're gonna burn fat in that area. That is impossible. Losing weight is all about increasing your metabolism, burning more calories than what your body takes in. Your body will search for where you store most of that fat. And most of the time it sits in our abdomen, our hips, or our buttocks region. Now what about your stomach? Not your abdominal area, but your real stomach where the food is going into when you're eating. Your stomach is just like a balloon. It can shrink or expand depending upon how much you eat. So if you're overeating, then you're going to set yourself up to overindulge in more food later. Now believe it or not, most of us adults have about the same size stomach. You may be thinking that, well, I'm big and fat, so my stomach must be bigger versus someone who's thin and tall. It doesn't work that way. Most of our stomachs are about the same size. Our stomachs literally can stretch. When I say stretch, if you're eating lots of food, those big meals, that's gonna be a big problem. Why? Because most people who eat a lot of food eat fast. And it takes 20 minutes for the stomach to send messages up those nerves to the brain to tell you that you're full. Now, if you do the math, you might have eaten your whole meal in five or six minutes. Well, you might have just eaten three meals before your brain has told you that you're full. You want to prevent that overindulging to prevent your stomach from overexpanding. And this will throw off your satiety hormones that's working between your body and brain. Cut down on the sugar because sugar will allow the brain to crave more sweets and food. Eating a high fiber diet more fiber, protein, and fats will keep you fuller much longer. And it would be a very wise habit to start drinking more before and after the meals. Because when you're drinking a lot of fluids with your meals, you are diluting your digestive enzymes. And that will give you lots of gas and bloating. Losing weight in inches and burning fat is about discipline. It's knowing how to control your appetite to allow your body to burn more calories. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.